Hello everyone, it's uh, January 30th. It is, as a matter of fact, the 68th anniversary of the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi. And so today starts the season of nonviolence, which will run until uh, I think April uh, with the assassination of Martin Luther King. We're still talking about the first chapter in Search for a Nonviolent Future. And I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this. And uh, in this chapter, there's a quote from a young man which I want to read to you. It's more or less addressed to President Clinton. In my opinion, this teenager said, many young people who smoke and say they don't know why are subconsciously choosing death. So telling them over and over that smoking will kill them is not the answer. If the president is serious, he's got to find ways to help them imagine a future. I didn't mention it in search, but I was remembering an experiment where some school children were asked to depict the future. So they drew these futuristic cities and they said, how many of you would like to live in this kind of future? And virtually none of them did. And then they were asked, what can you do to change it? And they virtually said nothing. So it's this demoralization, which some people have traced to World War One, World War Two which has led to an unconscious death wish. And, you know, Albert St. Georgie, the Nobel Prize biologist in his book, uh, The Crazy Ape, he wrote, a society which is death-oriented is difficult to save. So that's our task. Uh, we have to rescue our society from that orientation, give it something to live for. And that's why the rest of this chapter is about the discovery of uh, life's purpose. Since writing search, it's become even clearer and clearer to me that nonviolence is at the center of that purpose. It's through discovering our capacity for nonviolence. That means our capacity to offer it and our capacity to respond when it's offered that we're discovering something that is absolutely fundamental about human nature. So how to develop it in ourselves and use it as a basis for reimagining social institutions. That's the job. It's a big job. But um, as Mahatma Gandhi would say, if it seems like an attractive job to you, we are all invited to join the experiment. Thanks very much.